Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to set up and access an FTP server in Windows 10. FTP is used to transfer files over a network and stands for File Transfer Protocol. This is a standard protocol that is used to transfer files between computers and servers over a network, such as the internet. For example, if someone anywhere in the world wanted to make their files available for other people to download, all they would have to do is just upload their files to the FTP server and then other people from anywhere in the world can simply connect to that FTP server and download the files using the FTP. Now in this example, a dedicated FTP server is used to share their files. But you don't necessarily have to set up a dedicated server for an FTP. As an alternative, you can also configure your own computer to act as an FTP server. And in Microsoft Windows, this can be done using the Internet Information Services Manager. To do so, I have ordered the complete process of FTP server setup into 7 steps. Actually, it will be of 6 steps only, but uh, I'll show you 2 different ways to access an FTP site. I'll start with the installation of Internet Information Services along with the FTP services. Then I'll create a folder which I'll share in this demonstration. Post this, I will create few users and these users will access this folder using FTP. Next, I will add an FTP site using IIS Manager. Then after, I will assign permissions to this folder to access via these users. Later, as the final step, I will show you the ways of accessing this FTP site using a web browser and using an FTP client software. So let us begin with the installation of IIS. For this, open control panel. Click on view by category. And select small icons from the drop down here. Click on programs and features. And here, click on turn windows features on or off. And look for Internet Information Services. Here it is. Expand it. Expand FTP server as well. Now here mark the Internet Information Services. And it will also add a check mark to World Wide Web Services and Web Management Tools. Click here before FTP server. And it will add a tick mark to FTP Services. Again click here to mark FTP Extensibility as well. So here make sure these services must be checked and click OK to install these services. It will take a couple of minutes. Click on close. Now to check the install services, open run window and type inetmgr. Click on OK or hit enter. If you are getting this window with these options for FTP services, that means the required services are installed properly. Next, create a folder. And this folder will be accessed by my FTP clients. I am creating this here on the desktop, but you can create it anywhere on your computer. I will give a name as an FTP test. Open the folder and add few content. That's it and we'll access the same using FTP. Now create FTP users. So for this click here on start then settings and here click on accounts. Then select family and other users. You may open the same from the control panel as well. For this open control panel and select user accounts. Click on Manage another account and click on Add new user in PC settings. And then click on Add someone else to this PC. Click here on I don't have this person's sign in information. Next. Here click on Add a user without Microsoft account. Now enter the username and password. Then select Security Questions and uh, Add Answers. This is mandatory.
once done click on next and your FTP user is created you can see here add another user using the same procedure done close all this now before proceeding to the next step first we'll make a note of the IP address of my system to do so press the windows key and R to open the run window and here type CMD click on OK to open the command prompt type IP config here hit enter write on this IP address I'll copy in the notepad. We are going to need this to configure the FTP server. Now, let's create and configure a new FTP site. For this, once again open control panel. Click on Administrative Tools and here click on the Internet Information Services Manager. Well, this is the route. Expand this. Expand Sites. This is a default site created but we are going to create a new one. So now right click on Sites. Select Add FTP Site. Here give a desired name to the site. I'll give it as an FTP demo. In the physical path, you need to keep the complete path of the folder you are willing to share. In our case, it will be FTP test folder that I have created on the desktop. So click here and navigate to the FTP test folder. Once done, click on next. And here enter the IP address of your system. This is the IP in my case. Leave the port on 21. Here for the demonstration, choose no SSL. But if you root using this on a real environment, I recommend you to go with a secure socket layer authentication. For now, click on next. Select basic authorization. Basic authorization allow access to specified users. Now this user is the Windows user, the one you have created when you installed the Windows or the one you are currently using. Here I'll use the one I have created just now that is FTP user 1. Enter proper permissions, I'll choose both read and write. Click on finish. You can see a new site is added over here. Now add the FTP user 1 to the security settings of the FTP test folder. You can do this from here. Or navigate to the folder location. Right click on it, select properties, click on security tab, click on edit, then click on add. Here enter the FTP user that is FTP user 1, click on check name, make sure it's written properly. If you want to add more users, click on advanced, click on find now. From here you can choose the user you want to add. For now, I'll assign to only FTP user 1, so cancel this and click on OK. Now make sure you have the user selected. In my case, I'll select full control, click on apply, OK to save, OK again and done. Now we are ready to access this FTP site. So first I'll access in a web browser. You can choose any web browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Type in the address bar as an FTP colon double forward slash into the IP address of your machine. Press enter. You'll be prompted to enter the username and password. So user is FTP user1.
click OK and done. As you can see, we have access to that FTP test folder via FTP. And from here, you can browse and download different files and folders that we have configured on our FTP server. In my next session, I'll show you the another way of accessing an FTP site using an FTP client, along with firewall and additional configurations required to use the complete features of FTP services. So far, if you do have any doubt, post your queries in your Google Classroom. We'll discuss there. That's it for today. Practice well and keep learning.